What's going on, everybody? We're back here. We got a video on Kina today, but first we're going to go over the uh, quiz, the update number two quiz or whatever it is. Let's jump into this. Question one. What do they want to know here? Oh, and these all have to be in by Monday. Monday is the day? Yeah, the 12th. What's the name of the raid boss? Naraka. 98 to 1. All right. Number two. Uh, what species is Naraka? Dragon. Easy. All right. Number three. What are the monsters that it summons? Fire spirits. Those dang fire spirits. Number four. What is the name of the monster that will be added? Raven. What class? Assassin. And I think someone posted down here. Yeah, see, someone posted the picture of it. Some people are awesome. All right, well, that's uh, the quiz. Super easy if you watched uh, our video on the update or if you read through the update yourself. Should be no problem. All right, so... Get your free stuff. Kina skills and abilities here. So I read through her skills, and I think that she's like a support and a basic attacker. So if you read her basic attack, it says it attacks the target up to three times. So sometimes she'll just shoot one bolt, sometimes she'll shoot two, sometimes she'll shoot three. And uh, it gives you this energy of wind buff, uh, which affects the first skill. It adds damage to the first skill with the energy of wind buff. Uh, but since it, it hits a random amount of times here between one and three, her basic attack does more damage than the other ones, it seems. And when you get up to ten... It does 76% damage per shot, and the other characters only go up to 76 for their individual hits. So she, her basic attack's really good. Um, let's move into the screen here. We'll go through the utility ones first. Uh, recharges. Okay, so, so you want three dashes so you can get away from things. Um... Mana, yep, yeah, mana. I don't think that you really need the uh, charge time up on the dashes. Just try to walk out of things most of the time, and then if you can't walk out, you're going to have to use one of your, your three dashes. Uh, the mana, of course. Uh, what's this one? Ultimate gauge bonus? No, nah, I'm just going to skip over all these ones again. I don't think you really need those ones until a little bit later. Uh... I think I'm only I'm, I'm around level 50 right now and I tried to get it to level 60 but it got really rough when I got around level 50. And I haven't used any of the spell books on or anything so I don't have very many points so I want to be conservative with where I put my points. Uh, then we'll go into her passives. So since you're being conservative is there one more there that you might say someone could go for if it's their main? If it's their if it's their main that they probably want the ultimate gauge her ultimate's really good. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'd go the ultimate gauge one, and then the monster changing one. And now with Battlefield and, uh, the Brawl Arena coming up, it seems that the one that lets you change weapons, I think? Yeah, this one that lets you change weapons, if you get this to max, goes down to every 30 seconds. So, like, that could be really good for PvP if, uh, you need to be changing between weapons. I think in Battlefield... Changing between weapons will be pretty good because there's going to be so many different people that are all playing their own elements. You're really going to want to be able to have elemental advantage over whoever you're attacking. And that is a little bit of an update for the other two videos we released on Orb Yen Clef. I think we mentioned it in passing that when PvP came, that would be more important. Yeah, and but then like two days later, they dropped it. So, <laughs> so yeah, so um, just a small update on those two videos, kind of. So for these ones, you want to put one point into each one so that you get, like, the activation of the skill. Because uh, with the utility ones, you just have them. Even if you don't put a point into them, they all have a default time here. But with these ones, they don't have a default time. So you just want to put one point into each one. Okay. And then we'll move into the individual skills. So this one is when you, have, when you use a skill you heal your monsters and uh, possibly increase your mana. So I, I like this one. Uh, how high can I go? Oof. 35 points. I'm, I'm just going to go 5 because I don't have very many points to put in. But that, I'd max that one up. Okay, and this one, uh, 
applies continuous coverage to nearby team members if your HP falls below a certain ratio. I think just the first level is good enough for that one because it just adds on seconds. It doesn't actually add on a better continuous recovery. It doesn't add on like level two to continuous recovery. I don't. Um, maybe I should double check. Yeah, it doesn't add on like double continuous recovery. Okay, now for the third one here. This one applies invincibility to nearby team monsters when one's defeated. Uh, it only adds a little bit of time onto the invincibility length, but it reduces the cooldown every level. So I think for PvP, this one would be really good. I think it's good for uh, end game content. I'm not going to put into it right now. Next one increases mana regen speed and decreases skill cooldown time of nearby monsters for each skill you use when your HP is low. Uh, yeah, this one's this one's not that great either, but it's, again, another one that you're going to want to put into later on. Uh, I think this one was really good here. Increases attack speed of team monsters if your HP is above a certain ratio. So if you're at high HP, your monsters get extra um, attack speed. So I'm going to max that one up, because I plan to stay at full HP all the time. Uh, the next one here, Holy Hammer, increases the damage dealt if there is no defeated team monsters. So if you still have your full team alive, you deal extra damage. So I think that one's really good, because hopefully your people stay alive. Uh, Blessing, applies damage taken down to nearby team monsters. Nearby team monster target when its HP falls below a certain ratio. Uh, I think the activation is good enough on that one. Increases the damage dealt by team monsters if your HP is below a certain ratio. So if your HP is low, your monsters deal more damage. I don't think we need to worry about that one. Um, the last one here increases accuracy of team monsters if your HP is above a certain ratio. I think that 10% is probably good enough. Any monsters that you want accuracy on, you're going to put focus runes and stuff on them. You're not going to rely on your summoner being at a high HP to get extra ac. Uh, the elemental ones I'm going to leave again because that's more for later game when you get into PvP and probably for the dark weapon is what you're probably going to be using. Uh, then next, so so next uh, for the skills, I, I really think she's a great basic attacker so I've just been maxing out on this one all the time. Uh, I'm going to save a couple points for the other ones though. Well, it gets really expensive there. Okay, level 6. Uh, her first skill deals extra damage for the Energy of Wind. Does that sh does Do they always call it Energy of Wind? Or is it like Energy of Water when she's water? Yeah, okay, it's Energy of Water when she's water. I wonder if that affects it if, you're, if you have stacks on you and you decide that you want to uh, change elements. I wonder if the stacks fall off or what happens. But the first skill just deals extra damage based on your uh, energy of whatever level. And then if you have above 5, it deals some kind of harmful effect. Uh, this skill is uh, its hard to land. It's got a really long cast time. It, like, it puts down like the danger zone thing and then she like grabs her hammer from behind her and swings it really slow forward. It's narrow and short. So, I don't know. It's not it's not the greatest. I'm just going to leave that one. Uh, her second skill here, uh, it puts down like a big ring around you, and then she spins around with the hammer and pushes everyone out. So this is really good to, if you're getting surrounded, you can use it to push everyone off of you. Um, so I like this one. I'm going to put a couple into this. How many can I do here? I want to put... How much is the next? Sorry, how much is the next one? This is 30. Oh, if I can, I want to save 30. So I want to use 30 ish here. Yeah, there we go. And then this one. Uh, yeah, this one, it shoots out like a wave, and then the wave comes back. And it seems like it deals damage to enemies and heals the allies. Uh, it's. It's hard to hit your allies with it because it's really short, but it's still a really nice skill. So I'm going to put a couple into this one too. Maybe I'll go, how much recovery keeps going up? Yeah. Okay. And then her ultimate, 
uh, removes all harmful effects on everyone. Uh, adds crit rate up, add attack speed up. They're different for each one, but I'm pretty sure that all of them remove all harmful effects. I think that's like the main thing for her ultimate. Uh, so she actually has a really good ultimate. And it would be good to put into this too. So put I want to put one more into my basic attack. And then finish off with the ultimate. So again, if this was your main character, you'd be able to lean a bit harder into the basic attacks and do a couple other ones that Chet has been mentioning. Yeah, but this is your yeah, and, you, and you'd want to put into this one here, obtaining the ultimate gauge, more ultimate gauge, because you want to be using that ultimate to cleanse your team and deal tons of damage. Uh, but yeah, overall, she's she's been fun to play. I really I really like that her basic attack shoots multiple times. Uh, even without, she's not even close to as strong as my uh, Cleave. And she does pretty good on her own. Uh, it's nice having my monsters. I, I didn't know when I first started her that I was going to get to use all my monsters that I had on my other character, which was a pleasant surprise. And then uh, most people should be getting to this point now where their main summoner, they're kind of getting stuck on or whatever you want to call it. Not like stuck, but you can't progress any farther. And uh, when you move over to other summoners, you get to use all your monsters. And then all the rewards that you got from your main summoner, you'll get them all again. So it's good. Make sure that you go through and you finish off the story and all the blue missions on your alts too. If you want to get all those extra rewards. But with that being said, uh, you have anything? I don't know anything about her, no, sorry. I haven't played her yet. <laughs> but I do know that you should hit that big red subscribe button down below. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.